We are all feeling our energy bills this summer. But did you know that proper insulation can actually help reduce your overall energy footprint? Trent English from Truly Nolan Pest Control is here to explain the effectiveness of something called tap insulation. And also to chat about all those seasonal pests that you might have been seeing in the valley, maybe in your home. And that's the worst. How are you doing, Trent? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Okay, tell me what tap insulation is and why it's so effective for people's homes. Absolutely. So TAP is the acronym for Thermal Acoustical Pest Control Insulation. It's that uh, cellulose newsprint insulation. Um, it's infused with borates. That's why it's called pest control insulation. It's got a level of pest control with it. But it's, it's usually 30% denser than your traditional blown-in insulation. Mm. And right now with this onset of heat, it just feels like Vegas is always getting hotter, right? It does. I, I refer to it as Dante's Inferno. Every time yeah. you open up the door, it's just like a hair dryer blowing in your face. Our homes are our refuge. You know, it's important to make sure that we, we have a refuge from the heat, that our power bill isn't like quadruple what it needs to be and we're having to replace equipment. Mm -hmm. If your home is mm -hmm. properly insulated, then all that energy, all that cool air is kept inside the home yes. instead of escaping up through the, the roof, as well as making that equipment work harder than it needs to. Right, absolutely. I mean, this time of year, it, we're in all in survival mode. You know what I mean? We are, we yeah. Are. So it's a very relevant time of year to talk about this insulation. Does tap insulation also help keep the bugs out? It does. Actually, it does. It, again, it's infused with borates. Mm -hmm. You know, insulation properly insulating an attic in so many ways because of air infiltration and negative airflow will will stop drawing the interest of other insects. So if you have pockets in your home, let's say hidden points of entry around a roof line when that insulation goes down it's actually cloaking or stopping that airflow and and taking away the attention mm -hmm. from like roof rats for instance mm -hmm. but um other, other other seasonal pests like snake bugs and and scorpions and and that stuff that find their way into attics as well i've shared with you every time you're on that my biggest fear is scorpions i just don't care to be around them at all but rats actually are posing the biggest problem for people around the valley right now they are they are ever since shelter in place hit we changed a whole lot of the dynamic of the way we're living in the city and the yep. food moved into our homes. They followed the food, then the population just grew from there. Rats are relatively blind, they follow negative airflow, so when they're taking the high ground like a tree to the roof line, they can feel that escaping air infiltration, negative airflow, they get pulled to those vents and then down into the attic. And that becomes a perfect spot in the fall and winter especially. So it's so important to make sure that those areas on your roof have proper screening, mm -hmm. ins proper insulation as well. Like if you have rat activity in your attic, those standing pheromones create a problem because they're drawn to their own smell. So mm. and not to mention all the health hazards associated with having a litter box over your head. Oh. So making sure that that's removed and cleaned up and your attic's properly insulated is really important. Yeah, I, I love nature, but just not inside my own home. No. You know what I mean? No, no, we all <laughs> um, need happy boundaries. Let's talk about uh, my, my personal fear, and, and that is of scorpions. Um, how frequently do you need to uh, treat your home to keep scorpions out of it? Well, so depending on what you're doing, um, so air infiltration, we're talking about this, sealing a home properly, like weather stripping around your doors and windows, because they can feel that drop in temperature. The, all bugs are going to be drawn to those areas. Mm -hmm. Making sure that's first and foremost taken care of before pest control is okay. really important. Now, the maintenance of a home, it really depends on what's going on, the pest pressure around a home. If mm -hmm. it's loaded with insects and there's a giant food source there, obviously the frequency needs to be a little more often. But uh, here in the desert, we have products quarterly service. Usually if we're putting the product in the right areas and we're paying attention to landscaping and monitoring those situations, that's usually what's needed. But you have to consistently stay on top of those things, especially mm -hmm. removing the food source, because then that takes away mm -hmm. them even wanting to be around a home or a business. You know what, I'm, I'm finally, it's kind of sinking in after having several conversations with you, is that pest control is really a lot like home security. Like you have multi layers of things that you need to address. You too. It's not you just one thing. It's not just coming in and, and squirting a liquid right. once a month. It's a, it's a little more than that. You can be more strategic um, if you want to keep out some of these icky pests. A lot of people have a strong dislike for bees, and there's an increase in bees in the valley right now. What's happening with their migration? 
So seasonally, we get um, mass migration swarms that will come in and try to find mm -hmm. a home to establish a hive. Right now, I'm getting a lot of calls. They're just moving around the valley. They're, they haven't set up shop anywhere, like they're in trees or on walls or on the side of a home. Um, they don't pose a threat or a risk to anybody at that sure. point because don't they're vulnerable. Right. Don't, don't mess yep. with the bees. We need the bees. Yep. They make a huge contribution to our food and all that. Mm -hmm. But so if it's when they, they establish themselves in a water meter box or inside the structure of our home, they become an issue. Exactly. And that's when we call Truly Nolan. Guys, Truly Nolan Pest Control. Their website is trulynolan.com. Their phone number is on the screen as well. Write it down right now. And you can also check them out on Facebook and Twitter. You guys have a Twitter feed? I guess so. We do. <laughs> <laughs>